Embarking on a course renovation is a huge undertaking for any golf facility, but when it's on one of the oldest courses in the country, the pressure is on to preserve its legacy and its playability. That was the challenge facing Dan Mearsman, director of grounds at the Philadelphia Cricket Club. Mearsman explains how the club managed to restore the club's original features while modernizing the grounds for today's membership. The club is the oldest country club in the U.S., founded in 1854. We were originally in the, in the city limits of Philadelphia. Nine holes of the course that had the 1907-1910 U.S. Open still exist down there. In the 1920s, they came out here. It was really this, the hub of the golden age of golf architecture. In fact, the 36-hole course, located in Flowertown, Pennsylvania, was not only recommended by, but also designed by none other than A.W. Tillinghast. As the decades passed, however, the course started to lose its Tillinghast touch. So like a lot of clubs in the U.S., uh, this was built on a pretty open piece of property back in the 1920s. Over the years, many committees, uh, for whatever reason, it had been overplanted. Part of the restoration work was doing a lot of uh, tree removal in preparation for putting back all the Tillinghast features and getting the course to, to both visually appear as he would have liked it and also so it plays on par with the way the course is supposed to play. In the summer of 2013, Philadelphia Cricket Club voted to restore the course to its original Tillinghast glory. The problem? There was no real blueprint left by the legend. We retained golf course architect Keith Foster who specializes in restorations. He fully restored this golf course. We put back many of the Tillinghast features from the old 1930 aerials. Everything that you see today is brand new. Greens, tees, fairways, irrigation system, bunkers, every blade of grass of rough has even been resodded out here. Replacing turf grass allowed the club to rebuild the course from the ground up, a move that made modernizing course direction and green spreads more tangible. When you looked at the mowing heights of the 1920s, the speeds of the 1920s, and now with certain technologies like Aimpoint, you know where balls start and stop at different speeds. So we were able to prove uh, exactly where, by recolor coding our scans, where the greens should be softened and where they shouldn't be. Keith did an excellent job of restoring those features and striking that balance of trying to regain some hole locations. To minimize downtime, the course turned to East Coast sod in New Jersey to grow its new turf grass. The grow-in process was really just keeping the seams moist for a few weeks. And you know, they, they had come from the sod farm already with quite a bit of nitrogen and fertilizer ready to go. Um, and really it was just the top dressing, uh, protecting them and making sure they stayed moist so they grew. It allowed us to open the course probably a month and a half earlier than we would have otherwise. The restoration crew reviewed the Tillinghast aerials to determine the grass types used in the original course, Mearsman says. On tees, fairways and approaches, we have 007 bent grass. In our rough, we have turf type, uh, tall fescue with a little bit of bluegrass mixed in there. And on our greens, we have uh, tee to greens A1, A4. Uh, this is a grass that has performed great for us over the years which worked out perfectly for the course when it reopened to golfers in late summer. So far, the membership has been more than pleased with the restoration results. Here at Cricket, our, our leadership has decided that we're, we're always going to do what's best for the course. That'll pr produce the best product that they can depend on and play. And then, uh, so then in turn, they kind of reap the rewards of that. Now that on the turf end, I'm pleased to say that we could almost give them whatever they want. It's been nice to, to not only let people see the new property or see the, the work, but also provide the level of expectation of playability that they, that they expect when they go and play with the great courses of the country.